guess I might as well say something, right? I'm sure other people are going to say something. <sighs> what do I say to this? What? God damn it, Michael Bay. Oh, I thought they was going to scrap this movie. I really did. Um, as you can see, I'm not as excited as I was with my Arkham Knight rant. Or Arkham Knight rant. Uh, my Arkham Knight trailer reaction. Um, with this, I personally don't know what to think. I don't know if this is good or bad. I'm, normally, I get a vibe from a movie after I finish seeing the trailer. I get a vibe from everything from the Gon from them making Godzilla over to the Amazing Spider-Man 2 to the freaking Peanuts, okay? They're doing a Charlie Brown movie for 2015. You know, even I'm saying like, okay, that's cute. I want to I probably want to see that. And uh yeah, all these stuff that I remember from my childhood, they're starting to make movies out of even more so than um they have already been doing. So now we get down to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, who has made quite of a comeback. They have a series on Nickelodeon, which I've only seen like one episode. And they, they kept the formula. They kept the formula with the episodes, with the show. I still enjoy it. Um, and not, not much to say there, as far as uh, Nickelodeon is a part of this. And Nickelodeon is doing this movie. So, okay, let's concentrate on the movie. Let's forget about the TV show that's on now. It actually isn't that bad if you decide to watch it. I've, like I said, I've only seen like part of one episode, but yeah. So anyway, let's talk about this movie. I left the comment on the trailer itself, and I got some thumbs up on it. And you probably will see it on my Google Plus page if you take interest in that. I still hate Google Plus. But I said only a few things. Here's what's wrong with this movie already. Michael Bay. Guy who made Pearl Harbor and those terrible Transformers sequels. Okay, so the first Transformers movie actually wasn't that bad. I enjoyed it for the most part. Uh, I didn't think it was great, but, you know, I was there. I was in the theater. I was like, yeah, they're all fucking Transformers, yeah! I was with everybody. <laughs> then the second one came out, and, you know, didn't like it. And the third one came out. I don't remember it. I saw it. I guess I just try not to remember it. <sighs> Pearl Harbor. Same guy made Pearl Harbor. Anyway, Megan Fox. I am so sick of Megan Fox. <laughs> I never, I am so sorry, Megan. I never thought she was good at acting. I'm sorry. She was just, she was, to me, is like supposed to be a background character or something, not a main cast member. I thought those two didn't even like each other. Isn't that why she wasn't in the third Transformers movie? Well, I guess Michael Bay isn't directing this. He's producing it. But if people say he doesn't have a fucking influence over this movie, you are a moron. Okay, I am sorry. You are a complete moron if you think that Michael Bay is not going to voice his opinion on this movie. Okay. The Foot Soldiers. Don't leave and look like ninjas. They have guns. The fucking Foot Soldiers! The ninjas with the goddamn swords and Shit, I think some of them was cyborgs at one point. Whatever! They have guns! It's Call of Duty out there! That's what it is! Guns. Foot soldiers with guns. Megan Fox. And Michael Bay. This Strutter, I don't know what to make of him. I, I really don't. I forgot the guy's name too. Splinter, not seen at all. Okay, so you don't reveal Splinter, right? But you reveal the turtles? Okay, here's one thing that was good about the movies, about the old Ninja Turtles movies. Third one sucked, by the way. Um, the first one, I remember seeing the first one actually early 2000s. I never got a chance to see it <laughs> around in the 90s um, because I didn't know they existed. I wasn't much of a movie guy, I was more of a cartoon guy. But when I finally end up seeing the movie, I, I loved it, of course. But in the first in the first movie, if they let the reveal be 
slowly gathered up, so to speak. Um, they let they they let the anticipation accumulate, and people say, "Oh, I want to see him! I can't wait to see him!" And you go to the movie, you you want to see him, and like in the first in the first fight or so, nope, you don't see it. You just see shadows and stuff. So, you know, this is actually something that this trailer did. You didn't see the ninjas at at first. Which was great! You just saw the guys just getting thrown around, getting hit off the walls, hurt, hurt, and stuff like that. That's fine. But in the first movie, here's what made it great. They waited until the movie to did that. Not the fucking trailer. They waited until the movie to did that. Then when they did that, and you actually see the turtles, you don't even see them at first still. The reveal takes its time. You see their shadows, and they're just like, you can hear them, they're just like, yeah, alright, yeah, guys, let's do this, yeah, we're, we're here, we're ready to go, we're ready to kick some ass. And then we see them. Oh my god, those suits are fucking awesome. They still are awesome, aren't they? Everything CG now, you know, even, even Disney's gone full-on CGI. And that's fine, too, I mean, the Charlie Brown movie, the Peanuts movie, is gonna be in CGI. Why not? The updated Peabody and... Mr. Peabody and Sherman, which is a movie I haven't seen yet, CGI. But this, this, I don't know what to say to this. I really don't because on some screens the turtles actually look pretty cool. Then when I saw them in the trailer and I was like, okay, that looks the looks like they have a little bit too much going on, so to speak. Like they have too many stuff on them, but and then at some points they look really good, and then other points they... This was like a... Excuse me, this is a movie that's supposed to be coming out in August 2014, right? Which means you guys have been working on this for a while. This isn't like that first Spy the Amazing Spider-Man 2 trailer where the CGI looks kind of off, and you can sort of tell what it is until we got to the final trailer, which... Um, look fantastic, by the way. I can't wait to see this movie. Uh, but but that's Spider-Man. Okay, going back to the to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, they're obviously not teenagers. That's fine. Um, thank God he did not. They did not make them aliens. I am so glad they're not fucking aliens. Because when he said that they was going to be aliens, nobody got on board with that. Thank you, people of the world, of the internet. Turtles fan here, man. Turtles fan for a long time. Really did not want to see my turtles, my mutant ninja turtles turn into fucking aliens, okay? Thank you. The way they look, at first, looked badass. And then we got the close-up shot. It's like a fusion. It's like they try to make them look more human. It's like a frog and a toad fused with a, a human face. It's like, it's like they put it in Photoshop and they morphed it. That's, that's what it did. That's what it looks like. When Michelangelo takes off his mask, even when he has it, when he have it on, I don't know why, it looks a little different, <laughs> but when he takes off his mask, I'm just like, eh. you know, okay, now I can understand Megan Fox's reaction. I'm just going to call her Megan Fox. She's playing April O'Neil. Megan Fox. Her reaction there was probably the best one. I mean, you know, she did have the camera phone. Her reaction there was probably the best one. Even I was like, I'm not going to faint, but I'm just like, oh, face palm. It was so not what I was expecting. And the action scenes actually seemed like they might be good. Which... Hell, that's what Michael Bay excels at, right? You know, he's a producer and everything. You know, he wanted to make sure his action scenes are there, and the guy does great action scenes. No doubt about it. Great action scenes, great explosions, but... Here's, here's what I say. Don't say that he doesn't have an influence over this movie, people. The foot soldiers have fucking guns. Let me remind you again. Okay? These guys, they're not ninjas. Even the Ninja Turtles seem like they're not too subtle. I don't... Or at least they can, they cannot be. I mean, in the first scene when they was doing the fighting, the, the supposedly fighting, um, it was pretty subtle. You know, they was they knocked out the lights, which which is what it looked like, and then, you know, they took out the enemy. That was great. And then, you see how tall they are, and it's like, these guys are fucking, these guys are fucking beasts, man! And yes, they are a pure animal! They are alpha! I, the way they look, the way how fucking... 
It's like this. They're fucking animals, man. I, I love it. Love it. And, sorry, I just hit the camera. And, I don't know. When people talk about their height, I was like, oh, you know, I have no problem with that. Oh, they tower a little bit over over on uh, Megan Fox. That's fine. Um, it's not the height that I got the wrong. It's kind of like their faces a little bit. Um, seem a little bit weird to me. I think it should be more turtle-like. Oh, turtle, turtle. But, besides that, um, the trailer does seem like this could be this could be a movie that can go either way. I like how it seems like why some of the Nickelodeon show that it has their personality still intact. That's fine. And yeah, like I said, Nickelodeon is a part of this. Uh, Nickelodeon Productions. So of course they're gonna have the influence of let's have the characters still keep their um, personalities, which is good. Michelangelo still seems like he's the idiot. That's fine. Leonardo's the badass. <laughs> that's that's great. That's great. Huh. Don't know what to say about the other ones. I haven't seen him that much. You didn't see, you'll see him that much in his trailer. You know, Donatello and Raphael is, is still there. But it's just like I don't know if I'm gonna do a review on this. I might have to wait until I normally don't do this because I like to do my own thing, but I might have to see other people's reactions to this. Like I got other people's reactions when I was reading the comments for the for the um, for the trailer on YouTube. But as far as like, I need to see I need to see reviews from people um, before I go and see this. Um, the same thing with like the Lego Movie. I wasn't gonna go see it until I got reviews from people, and it was like, oh, you know, it's good. It's actually pretty good. I was like. Mm, you know, I think I should go check that out. But as far as this, I don't know what to think, man. I don't know what to think. I was talking to my buddy uh, last night, and he was like, um, he basically said the same thing. He's like, I don't know what to think. Um, Michael Bay's in it. I mean, Michael Bay has his name attached to it. He's the first one to fucking pop up. <laughs> and as you can see, I'm not much of a big fan of he of him. But and I really don't like Megan Fox's acting. I hope they focus more on the turtles than they do on basically everybody else um, this is like my only thing with the this is like one of my only um, kind of down votes for the amazing spider-man um, that was like one of my oldest reviews I did for on YouTube and I don't know if I originally said that in there because it was all audio base but I let me let me mention it now is that one of my problems with the Amazing Spider-Man, the first movie, was that, you know, there was a lot of Peter Parker, and it was less of, you know, The Amazing Spider-Man. I mean, the, your movie's called The, the Amazing Spider-Man, but we get Spider-Man for like, for like a two-hour and 24-minute movie, we get Spider-Man for like 35 to 40 minutes, it seems, and then everything else is Peter, and I'm just like, eh, you, you know, it's fine, because they're trying to you know, build up this character, get you to that connection, even though people already know who Spider-Man and Peter Parker is, don't know why they're... But it's a reboot. It's a reboot. That's fine. That's fine. Um, I just hope they just don't go down this route with this, because this is... The, we need to see the Turtles in action. We need to. And it's been a while since they've had, you know, a theater, a, a theater debut, a theoretical debut, whatever they call it. It's been a while since they've been at the movies, people. And we need to see the turtles in action. Not too excited. <laughs> um, but as far as what I think is going to happen or what I hope will happen, I just have to see more, man. I mean, I keep, I just wondering what other people think. It has over 8 million views at this time I'm making this video. And I already did my comment on it and stuff like that. I already looked at people's other comments and what people thought about it. <sighs> I don't know, people. I don't know. Well, you got to play the waiting game. We're just going to have to wait till August and see. Um, I hope it'd be good. I really do. I want it to do well. But I just cannot go and see it right now. I just can't. I have to... I normally like to do my reviews early, but I have to, I have to wait until I hear something from somebody else. <laughs> I, I will not go spin... Because it's, it's, movies are expensive. I will not go and spend the 15 something, 15 to something dollars just to see this movie and it turns out to be fucking garbage. I'm not. So, I'm going to give it, 
I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt, you know, I did that with Man of Steel, and look how that turned out. Um, I don't care if it made a lot of money, but, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, we'll see. Hopefully he's not too heavy. I guess it can be heavy on the story. I hope this doesn't doesn't go too overboard. But all right then. Um, that's it. This is my that's my little reaction to this trailer. Um, not as good as my Arkham Knight reaction because I didn't know what to think of it. I didn't know what to make of it. So I do apologize for that. So um, I will see you in my next video. And um, yeah, I will get that video out that I'm supposed to be getting out. I'm going to be uh, making these little videos today. I have one other video to make, and I'll post in like a little bit. So. Until then, I will see you, and take care.